Now that we're able to add roles to our users, let's begin adding or assigning claims to our users. So this is very similar to video 10. If you missed that video, I highly recommend checking it out. And you see a pop up on the right side. If you click on that, you'll get the playlist of this entire series. So the first thing we'll do is we'll update our model, the register model, and then we'll go into the identity controller, do some work in there and set it up where we can add claims to our user. So if we go back to our application, go to the register form, the way we'll add claims in this case is we'll set it up where the user could select their claim here. So they can claim to be a developer or a, a designer. And we'll add this to their token when they log in. Now we're not going to get this register form working in this video. We're going to actually set this up in a later video. We're going to be mainly working within the back end. So let's open up our identity controller. So inside the API, open up the identity controller. We'll need to do some work in here. And then also while we're here, we'll open up our register view model. So when the user is creating a account, they'll be able to add roles and then also they'll be able to add a claim. And then this field is going to be required. So I'll make sure I add the required attribute. And that's all we need to do within our register model. Then back inside of the identity controller and inside of the register API, what we'll do is we'll create a claim when the user successfully creates an account. And I'll do that right below our add role to user. So we'll create a claim. It'll be called job title. And then we'll pass in the job title that we're getting from our model that we just set up. Let's bring in our claim and bring in it from system security claims. Now that we set up our claim, let's assign it to our user. So we're using the user manager and we're using the add claim async and we're passing in the user from the DB and then the claim that we just set up is going to be the second parameter. So now we're signing the claim to our user. Before we set up our login API, let's save this and test this out in Postman. So make sure we restart the application. So I already got that running here, so I'll shut it down and restart it. So let's test out our register API. So I'm going to create a new account and it's going to be test six, Mike six, and then I'll leave the same password. I'll leave in the role. And then now I'm going to add in the claim. So the claim is job title and it's going to be a developer. If we hit send, this should create an account and it was okay. And then we succeeded. So we should now have this claim within our database. Let's check that out. Let's reopen the database, hit control shift P and open database and select app DB. Then if we go inside of our database now and look inside the ASP.NET user claims, show table, and I'll move this over so we can see it better. And now we have a claim within our database and it's assigned to our user. So that part is working really good. Now let's set up our login method. So if we go back inside of our identity controller and inside the login API, what we want to do is we want to add in our claims within the token when we generate the token. So within the login API, right below the roles here, we'll go out and we'll grab all of our claims. So I called it claims and we're using the user manager and we're using the get claims async. We pass in the user from the DB. So this is going to grab all the claims for that user and we're going to have it as a list. Now let's pass this claims into our generate token method. And this is going to give us an error now because it's not expecting a third parameter. So we'll need to set that up. If we go back inside of our service and I'll close this down so we can see better and inside the core services token and let's open up both of these. And I'll close this back down. And inside the interface, we'll add on towards the end here as the third parameter, all of our claims. That's all we need to do in this file. And then inside of our class or our service, we'll make sure we update this so we're not getting an error. And here we don't need to set up a, a list of claims anymore. We could just get rid of this. I'm going to comment this out and push it up to GitHub so people can have this as a reference. But now we don't need to create a new list because this is a list. So all we need to do now is just add on to it. 
So we'll go and add on the username and email like we were doing before. And now we're ready to test the API again. So let's make sure we save everything. And also you shouldn't be getting an error here anymore. And now let's restart the application. So I'll shut it down again. And jump back into Postman. Now we want to test our login API and we could reuse this account because this account Mike six has a claim developer already added to it. If we go to the login API and then make sure you change your username to Mike or whatever you picked. So in this case, Mike six. And now that we're logged in, let's grab the token. And if we jump back to the website, jaw.io, and I'll paste it in here. And we should have a claim developer. We do. So we now have a job title of developer added within our token. And that's how you add additional claims to a user. Now in the next video, let's set up a policy. So what we'll do is we'll create a policy and we'll protect a API within our user controller using that policy. And we'll do that next.